Hello, it's Andrew at Unlimited Singing Bowls, and we have a magnificent set of four bowls that we're calling the Astro Body Healers. These were put together by Trevor, one of our uh, great employees here, and then energized by a variety of uh, angelic healing forces to kind of set the vibration of them to help heal your astral body. Um, that's what we're using for it. That charge will be in there. Now, of course, if you get these and you purchase these at your house, you can, or your business, you can use them however you want. But right now, for this particular healing, they're um, astral body healers. So why don't you take that moment, if you're not in a good place, to relax and sit and close your eyes. Uh, you can come back to this video later. Or please stop it and get into like a comfortable position, maybe on a chair maybe on a couch, maybe, you know, just sitting somewhere so you can close your eyes. And just allow for yourself this time to give yourself a spiritual healing. There's always so many other things to do. So while you're sitting there, I want you to imagine from your first chakra, from the base of your spine, to the center of a planet, a connection, a grounding. Just imagine that and just let all the stress of things you have to do or all the things you're trying to fix, just start to release out of that. This time is for you. It's time for you to take care of yourself. Goodbye, stress. And breathe for a second. Maybe take a deeper breath through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. It's okay to take this time for you. To heal yourself. If you can take the time to heal yourself, you can create greater healings and be there for others better. Otherwise, you get burnt out. Burnt out. You don't want to be that. So now you're grounded, and I want you to notice the energy of these bowls. There's the sound, and I want you to just say hello, or become aware of the energy of these bowls as I play them, that's coming through whatever electronic device you have, that's coming through the sound. Just become aware of it. You know, there's no right or wrong to see how it affects you. charged up and it's coming to you. Now you may have heard of the astral body. There's the physical body that here we are in this plane. And then there's an etheric body which has to do a little bit more with emotions and things like that that ties, looks kind of like the physical body. They've seen in cartoons or movies. And then the next layer in is the astral body. Kind of connects to your third chakra. So we're going to work to become a little bit more aware of that. So I want you imagine yourself in the center of your head and in your body. Imagine yourself as a spirit in your body in the center of your head. And now I want you to imagine yourself in the corner of the room. Just be there as a spirit in the corner of the room. 
and say hello to your physical body. And then imagine yourself back in your physical body. You leave in the corner of the room, back in your body, just like that. And go back to the corner of the room. And come back into your body in the center of your head. And notice yourself there as a spirit. Hello, body. Hello, center of my head. You may feel the weight of your body now, right? If you go to the corner of the room, you're just vibrating light. Come back in. Oh, man, my body might notice a pain or two. That's okay. Just let it be there. You don't have to be perfect. You can't figure out. You can't fix everything at once. And now, in the same way you went to the corner room from your body, I want you to imagine your consciousness into your etheric body. That first it's kind of emotional body connected more to the second chakra. So imagine your consciousness in there. Notice that. say hello to it. You don't have to fix it. You don't have to do anything major to it. Just say, hey, wow, I'm aware of my etheric body. That's cool. Mm -hmm. If you find that kind of stuff cool. Mm -hmm. And now, just breathe. And now imagine yourself going one more layer in to your astral body. Just imagine your consciousness in the astral body. Maybe you can even you get in there, move your arms around, your astral arms, your astral legs. There's no right or wrong. And if you don't think your astral body is there, just kind of say, it's gonna, my astral body is going to be connected to my physical body right now. Just go, okay, that's where I am. You're not flying out anywhere. Sometimes we forget to bring our astral bodies in after a night on the town. Mm. After a night of healing or visiting people on the astral. So just bring it in and just notice it. It's going to be lighter than your physical body. Even a little lighter energetically than your etheric body. And say hello to it. Now this is where you connect to it is your third chakra. Have you ever heard of the silver cord? people pass away, they notice it. Third chakra. And I want you to just notice in that astral body, there's the things that feel heavy, there are things that feel light. And just say hello to it. Notice. Are there any places that might be stuck? Or weighty? The thing about when we watch a movie and, oh, the person dies and they're in this other body and it's always kind of replicate of their physical body and it's always in perfect movie star shape or scary demon shape, is it's not always perfectly like that. Your astral body, you're doing a lot of things when you go out to sleep. It could have all kinds of weights or tears. You could have the weight of uh, saw today in mind, generational trauma. What did your ancient relatives carry through? So I want you just to allow, like we did before, the energy of the sound, the energy behind these bowls, the healing energy, to go in and just sit back and let it heal some of the weight in your astral body. Maybe feel some pain in the astral body legs. It feels like, oh man, it feels like we're like blah, blah. Let the healing energy from these bowls go through and brighten it up. Bring it to a healing gold vibration. energy. You can feel it. You can know it. You can hear it. However you experience the energy. Hold up your 
astral arms and just let the energy heal that. Shake your astral head a little from inside your mind. Get healed. Is there a knot anywhere? Maybe even take that energy in your astral hands and hold it by your third chakra to heal the connection where you remember your dreams. You don't remember it from your mind. You actually remember it in your third chakra where the silver cord connects. So maybe take some of this healing and go, I'd like to remember more of my dreams. Give yourself a healing there. Or this is not energy coming from me. This is the energy that they've set the healing guides. I'm just playing it. I'm just talking it. body healing because there's a lot of mucky stuff going on on the planet right now a lot of darker energies looking to control people and you may not even be aware of them but they could be controlling your astral space so you may not be able to get up to a higher vibration maybe you had a relative or a friend die in a war a tragedy and you kind of matched where they were. Maybe it's got a healing now, but you still have some of that muck. So by doing the healing, you can lighten your energy and go to nicer places on the astral and heal yourself. you go. I'm going to come in and heal you. And then allow that astral healing you've gotten to vibrate down through your etheric body. Let the healing you've gotten on an astral level translate into the next lower vibration, and I'm using the term very loosely lower, but the closer to the physical body, the etheric, and go, hey, I've gotten a healing, you can match. Etheric body, release what your pain is. And physical body, look what we're doing. Tell it, I'm releasing energy, you can match. One more time, put your consciousness in the astral body. So it's the physical to the etheric to the astral. Just put your attention, your awareness there. And we're going to fortify it. We're going to get a little stronger by saying a little prayer. You can say, you might have a particular mantra you say, you might have a particular religious prayer. I'm going to just say the one that I use because I've noticed it helps me connect to the divine healing very good. I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. You can say whatever one you want. You can turn this off and say whatever you want, but you want it to say it from your astral body. Okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread, and forgive me my trespasses, as I forgive those who trespass against me. Lead me not to temptation, but deliver me from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory, forever and ever. And all that prayer is doing is connecting you to the divine force and into your astral body to help give it even a more strengthening healing. If you're not Christian, it doesn't matter. Pick, a, pick whatever prayer connects you to God. I'm not 
here to tell you what to believe. I just know that one works for me, so I use it. There's a mantra to do that. But let that astral body connect to God. Thank you for uh, having a little astral body healing. I hope it helped you on uh, some level. And you can always come back to this and do it again. And uh, really, it's a great set of bowls here. So thank you, Trevor, and thank you, angels, and thank you, people here out watching. Okay. <laughs>